They said, we're just selling this third because we don't pay attention to them anymore. I'm Alex, and this is Egg Story for GeoBeats. We have like a local classified, so I was looking for an amplifier at the time, but he came up as a local recommendation. It was this really sad picture of him in the budgie cage. He was really malnourished. They hadn't given him a name, they had him for quite some time, and didn't even give him the dignity of a name. We decided we just had to do something about it. The plan was to look after him for a week, and then take him out to a foster care center. And he kind of won us over, and we couldn't say goodbye to him. When we got him, he was really defensive. He was incredibly aggressive towards his prior owner. Like, when I went to go visit him, he was actually trying to attack the prior owner. But after a week of sweet nature, it became evident very quickly. And once he realized that he wasn't going to get hurt, he relaxed. He stopped being defensive and started becoming a lot sweeter. And would actually sort of come up to us, tap our knees, and then run away. It's taken months and months and months for him to come up in his true self. My partner had to teach him how to play. He had toys and didn't know what to do with them. Now playing is his favorite pastime. I mean, it's been like two years and he's still calming down. He was just inside that cage. He couldn't open up his wings. He'll never be able to fly. He'll always be a flightless bird. Um, he can kind of hop around. He's a real sweetheart. He loves kisses. He's calm. He's not particularly noisy for a cup or two. We take him out to cafes. We take him on drives. We'll sit with us. When we go out, um, this is what he wears. The suit actually features a nappy, and also we can attach a, a lead to it. So he's a bit of a local celebrity. Half the people around here know him by name. <laughs> he does not care about wild cockatoos. It's almost like he doesn't see himself as a bird. But I think he's him that he's human. He's a problem solver. He'll solve puzzles really quickly. They're really smart. He knows his name in context. And if he's doing the wrong thing and you say his name, he'll start doing the wrong thing faster so that he can try and get it done before you get to him. <laughs> A toddler is the perfect way of describing him, actually. He wants to be a part of it all. But the moment you try to put him to bed, he will scream and be pretty upset about it. They live for so long. They get here to live to 75 or even 80. We spoil him as much as we can and give him as many life experiences as we can. Considering how sweet he is, we can't make sense of how someone ever wanted to or let that happen to him. It's incomprehensible to us. I can't wear watches anymore because he associates watches with his past owner. He's had a bad start in life, but we're making that up to him. He's my baby. <laughs>